Okay, let's put in the real holotape. Um, the network's going to There we go. Initiate network scan. Network links established. Downloading. Internal network detected. Great. Now we can give that back to Sturgis. Now we can just wander around. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I wondered if you might be here. You're quite resourceful. Mmm, God. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Please be a robot. I know why you're here. Or an alien. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. That'd be good. Please, step into the elevator. I hope it's not something stupid. <sighs> Boy. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us? Well, I'd you've like tried to, to kill me a few times. You may have the wrong impression. Of those times you tried to kill me? With the synths and whatnot? Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. Mm -hmm. That's so shiny. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. By killing them with sense. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. By killing people with sense. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Oh, really? Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now... We must remain underground. Yes, and replace... There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. And I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. My son! You are here for your son. Jason! So, like, you're bettering the future of science by replacing specific people with exact duplicates of them for unknown reasons. And then what happens to those people? Oh, right, they die. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, there's, there's evil Nazi super science, and then there's the Institute, and the evil Nazi's going, oh, gosh, whoa. Why not tone it down a bit, guys? <laughs> Oh. Just breathe. Just breathe. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Then we can set fire to the wasteland. Everything will be fine. It's it's the boy. It's Sean or something. No use. Um. Okay. Tweezers and a spanner. Only opens with a key. Um. Okay. Okay. Did that. Um. Up oh, there it is. Sean. Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. It's Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sure. Sean. Father, what's it's going me. On? What's happening? I'm. I'm your dad. Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Uh -huh. Father, help me! <laughs> see, see There's someone doing? here! Help me! I mean, because why would he know us? He was a baby. Come on, protagonist. Come on. Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door! This is father? all insane. Father, help me! He's trying to take me! 
Father? Father, help me! Uh, look, it's Father. See what he was doing? He wasn't caught. Yeah. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. Uh -huh. He's a prototype, you understand. Uh -huh. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Uh -huh. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I could kill you. Right here. Right. Now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. I appreciate your recognition of that. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. No shit. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. See, cause like, well, assuming we believe him. How is that even possible? I know Cause, this cause is cryogenic a lot sleep, to you idiot. In. in the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost, but then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. As a member in the flashback, the Institute they were all just stupid robots. Synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... Wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me. After discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time. Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sweet mother of science! And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. 
her mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. And I'm an evil Has it Nazi always been scientist. Easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. Do we? What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. There's a sort of I know there's more disconnect for us to discuss. like that the Mechanist had. I was like, no, the synths are up there the doing Institute great things. The Institute is on the verge of some What, what do you mean they're killing things. random people and anyone Your who sees them? Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I mean, I do appreciate wanton, unchecked scientific discovery. You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? A little. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. More doors and loading zones you've than you've ever like. seen. I assure you that you are better off with us. Have you been in the Commonwealth? How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you, you what I've been face. telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? <sighs> I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. 
You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. Dr. Lee? They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Relation. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Why build it to look like you? We've advanced the technology behind synths to a point where this struck me as an interesting variation. A new angle, if you will. Modeling it after myself seemed only natural, what with the Institute's records on my genetics and physiology. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. No, that's fine. But you I'll horrible admit, I'm monster. Curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy? You mean, like, gladiator movies? It's not you. It's not even human. I could never love that. No, perhaps not. But in many ways, he matches what you've been searching for all this time. Yes, and then in other ways, he's a stupid robot feeling, that you built to fuck with me. If in some small way, the boy's <laughs> presence can help. This is so fucked I up. I hope you'll keep an open mind. <laughs> So that's so fucking monstrous. Oh my god. Oh god, this this whole thing, like this shattered the game for me. Oh they have a little Oh god. Like, if you guys abduct people and you wanted to have this little meeting, why not just abduct me instead of having me carve a bloody path through the wasteland, murdering all sorts of people looking for you? Yeah, yeah, you look away. You hang your head in shame. Sean, perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. From what? The people already living there? Jesus. I did say I could kill him any time. First, I have to show you what really pisses me off about the Institute. Yeah, it's like, it's the kind of thing on BuzzFeed. It's like, top ten pranks gone too far. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, game, tell me where to fucking go and quit fucking. And this is the other reason I hate the Institute. It's worse than being in a vault. Oh, picture of a lighthouse. Wait. So much worse than just being in a vault. Because there's multiple levels. You call this a clean floor. Are your visual receptors <sighs> malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? My apologies, well, at sir. Least everyone's I was issued a defective cleansing unit. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled. We can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Yes, sir. The rest see me as little more than a glorified repairman. But I'm as much a scientist as any of them. Okay. Hi, Doc. You know what happened? What? Synths aren't human beings. But supposedly, they're the future of humanity. I'll never understand it. Okay. Scanning. Subject identified. Fuck off. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Respect. <coughs> I'll be, be on the lookout for unusual synth behavior. Uh, you know it. Hey, look, it's not a door outside at all. It's just another house. With a balcony that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, hate. Is there a problem? So much hate. <laughs> murdered myself. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been Not Food Supplement 77. That is correct. That was my favorite one. 
Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but well, that supplement is no longer child. available. Useless machine. Hello. Please ensure that your dietary hey requirements there. are You're being here. filled. Glad you made it. What the fuck are you? Theoretical limits are made to be broken. Be alone. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll take a look. Sure. Yeah, no, this is, uh, it's, it's pretty fucked up. Institute food packets. Why do you guys trade in bottle caps? You just drop that microphone over here. Do you have time to examine my latest reports on batch 274? Not yet. I've been reviewing Shut up, I have doctor. Direction. I wonder how Welcome. the Warwick family is so doing. So good to have you here. Young Dr. Wally Clayton holds to 10 years old Head now. of the Bioscience Division. It's remarkable. Please stop talking. Child Wait for you to see the work we're doing. So up there, don't it's you truly think? amazing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Would you... Uh, what? Yeah, like what? Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicines. Uh -huh. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the uh -huh. gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Because you know what you start with when you make synthetic life? Gorillas. Sounds like a waste of time to me. You should create something more useful. It's just my opinion, of course. But I don't believe that every discovery needs to be useful. Sometimes we innovate for no other reason than to learn what's possible. Uh, I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer I any questions I guess it would be programmable have. gorillas. Clayton's actually a pretty decent guy. And we can ask him for Is bitch work. Is there anything I can do to help hey, out? There bitch might be. Work. Tell you what, you... Yeah, we gotta meet everybody first, though. But yeah, no, you're the, the father of the leader of the Institute, and everyone just gives you bitch work. Dr. Holdren's Robo Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising results. Yep. Feels like this project has been going on for months. You can give the gorillas a butthole. And then somewhere around here we can find uh, the FEV lab. We can get that thing Virgil wants. I forget when we're supposed to do that. Like if we can do it now or if we can do it because it's going to come back in time. But yeah, the place is just an irritating maze of narrow corridors and shit. This is one of the most frustrating hubs I think I've ever had to navigate. Because everything is just sterile and white. And slightly color-coded. It's like how the liquors have buttholes in Resident Evil 2. I mean, someone had to, someone had to animate that. Well, that's the food. Report Get anything from suspicious me. to the SRB. You asshole. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, that's she's just doing it for looks fun. fun. God. Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. How you doing? Sorry if I seem distracted. So you guys don't have I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're Nerd. here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. 
Dr. Orman. It's oh, really exciting having you. Well. I can't wait to see what you can do. Bring it. Do your best. Well, that was productive. Aw, sissy. What else you got? What's this? Oh, your guys' ammo boxes are weird. Yay, if you Sleep is those. such a waste of time. I'd rather be designing more efficient plasma emitters. Doesn't even hurt. Uh, who's the boss I here? I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but oh, lately I prefer less. In case anyone versus. didn't mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Sorry, what? Hey, Doc. Since you're new oh, here, you're not the, you should wait, take time you? to learn our safety procedures. No, I don't care about what you have to say. You're not the person I'm looking for. Excuse Madison me, Lee, I think Doctor? that is her. Ah, it's you. Holy shit. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Well, that's insulting. Um, I'm sorry. Not my intention. There's just quite a bit going on right now, and your arrival has the potential to throw things off schedule. Sister, oh, you don't even know. Before I forget, him. let me see that pit boy of yours. Why? I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for oh. you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. I if nothing have... else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Yes. Now, the benefit yes. of doing this again compared to the first and I think only time I've done it before, is I'm significantly less enraged at the plot. It's just insufferable. Hey look, a guard synth. Nothing to report, sir. See, that's just pretty cool. I wish it was a different color and didn't look like pajamas, but... Um, I, I may be willing to play some of this out, but all the missions when are, are shitty. When are you going to tell me like... about this mysterious phase three? You know I can't talk about that. You wouldn't happen to have a spare polarizer on you, would you? And then they just immediately turn into Bethesda NPCs. No visitor to the action of the K-14 uh, compound. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much you larger. You know the protocol, time. sir. And the side Authorized side. personnel only. Yeah. The doctor Scanning bitch. unknown identity. I am seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some Excuse heads together. Excuse me. What now? They're Please dragging move. their feet on the target Always be vigilant. I asked for. We have Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? These are the secret My methods get department. results, Go and they will this time as well. We're all looking forward to You'll working see. with you. Oh my god. I need less NPCs. Pardon me, sir. I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you, but try to remember that synths aren't people. Oh, no problem. If no the robotics problem. division was a little more careful, we wouldn't have synths trying to escape. Excuse me, doctor. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. Why are you I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Stay out of my way, or you'll regret it. That sounds a bit like a threat. No shit. I'm sure I'm just misunderstanding you, though. Threats aren't advisable for someone in your position. Now, father has asked that I provide you with a... Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not... I know, I was really hoping it'd let They me. might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? 
That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. Oh, but yeah, I gather no, totally you know there. this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I shot it. A lot. I hate to break it to you, but your courser wasn't all that tough. Hmm. Then it's likely the unit was defective. Oh yeah, no, totally. It's rare, but faults can occur from time to time. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. If you're the acting head of the ESRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. Carry on, sir. Okay, so see, since Secret Police Division. Good for them.